According to reports, Meghan Markle was upset and overwhelmed by how she and Prince Harry were portrayed in a recent episode of the American comedian South Park. In the absurd cartoon's most recent episode, aptly dubbed The Global Privacy Tour, which aired on February 15, the once-employed royals were called dumb and foolish. A summary of last week's show made blatant digs at Harry and Meghan by mentioning a royal and his bride trying to find quiet and isolation in a remote mountain village. Even though the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were not mentioned by name, it was obvious who the fictitious Prince and Princess of Canada were meant to be. The Duchess of Sussex wore an outfit similar to this one during Trooping the Color in 2018, and Meghan was dressed similarly. Throughout the episode, the animated satirical series, which debuted in March 1998, took numerous vicious digs at the couple. One character refers to Meghan as a sorority girl, actress, influencer, and victim. While asking for everyone's privacy, the prince is doing a marketing tour promoting his book, Waak, which has an uncanny similarity to Prince Harry's memoir, Spare. The Spectator quotes a source as saying that Meghan has been upset and overwhelmed over the last several days by the way the Sussexes are portrayed in the TV program. She is upset by South Park but refuses to watch it completely, they continued. The pair may bring in the lawyers to fight the popular Comedy Central program, according to one royal pundit. According to sources close to the former royals, Neil Sean of Fox News said, like so many other things involving Meghan and Harry, it looks that this may have legal repercussions connected. Their legal team is reviewing the incident to see what is improper and what may be transformed into something more nefarious. Trey Parker and Matt Stone, the show's producers, are known for delightfully making fun of a variety of celebrities, but some thought that one joke, in which they very closely mimicked a number of Meghan Markle's real-life magazine covers, went too far. When she married Harry, she created cartoon versions of the Vanity Fair front page. More recently, she created one for the cut to advertise her Spotify podcast. The most contentious, though, is a parody of GQ, which really published under the title Megan's Annus Mirabilis, which is Latin for Megan's Great Year. Princess Anus, nevertheless, was the disputed reading in the South Park rendition. The majority of people laughed out loud at the latest episode, including Piers Morgan, who tweeted, the South Park rinsing of Meghan and Harry is lethally fantastic. I believe that this is how most Americans now see them.